Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'll be honest. Uh, when this first came up and I first started learning about this topic, I was pretty quick to judge and pretty quick to be against this. I, I fancy myself a bit of a constitutionalist, not only our federal constitution, Mr. Speaker, but as well as our state constitution. I think those documents are sacred. And for me to stand up in front of this body today and say that we should consider AGR 77, it, it goes towards how, how important this issue is. I was against it because I, I don't think that our Constitution should be altered easily. I don't believe that we should just make amendments and, and pretty soon we're going to water it down and it's going to be something that it wasn't when we started. But I, I, I took some time and I did some background, I did some research, and I talked to some people who I also consider to be constitutionalists that were avidly for it. And I found out a few things. And I respect my friend from the 43rd. Uh, the best of intentions, and I'd actually like to take one of his history classes. I think it'd be a, a fun class. But um, the gentleman from the 24th shared some, some facts with me. He shared some links with me and some background information. And, and some of the concerns I had are exactly what the gentleman from the 43rd talks about, is what if we had a runaway, runaway con convention? And then I talked to the speaker, uh, speaker f and, and we talked about our state can set things up and send our delegates there. We can set the rules and the parameters on what our delegates can and can't do. And those, there's, so there's some checks and balances to that. And then I weighed out, why would we do this? Mr. Speaker, our country is in debt trillions of dollars. It doesn't get any better. It goes up every single second of every minute of every day. And that scares the heck out of me when I think about my daughter who's in high school and three generations past her, and it should scare all of you. The what if we don't do anything is astronomical. This country is set up in an imperfect system, and I think we all know that. And in this imperfect system, to come up with a balanced budget on the federal level is nearly impossible because we have so many representatives and they need to make tough choices in unison together, and that's just tough to do. We must stop this. The process can't fix itself. The decisions that need to be made are not fun. They're not easy decisions. I believe we saw that in the last eight years in the state of Wisconsin. We made decisions that were hard, but they were the right decisions. And passing AJR 77 is also the right decisions for our kids and our grandkids and our great-grandkids that some of us haven't even thought about. One of the things that locked me into this, Mr. Speaker, was uh, I talked a lot about the what-ifs. And we talk about checks and balances. And if we had a runaway convention, and I, after my research, I don't think that's possible, but let's just say that it happened. This has to be ratified by 38 states. So if the convention happened, and we didn't get the results we want, it would require 38 states to say, yes, this is what we wanted, and ratify this. And with that checks and balances, Mr. Speaker, I think that the vote on AGR 77 is green. Thank you.